human hair. I just love this little bag. Um, I did a video for you guys, I want to say about two weeks ago, where I taught you guys how to make a 360 lace frontal wig. And I was using this hair that is in my head from Labby. Um, what's cool about that video, if you haven't seen it already, is that I did teach you how I customize the 360 lace frontal to fit in my head. Um, I find that the standard size of the frontal, the 360 lace frontal, is a little bit loose when I try to sew it down to my um, dome cap. So I go in and, well I'm not going to explain it here. If you want to see that video, I do have the link down below. But that is how, um, that video is a tutorial on how this wig was made. I had to get a chair, I'm so out of breath. I'm actually nine months pregnant and it's getting harder to breathe. I get so short of breath that I wasn't gonna make it through this video. But um, an update on the wig itself that I made for you guys. That was actually my second time making a wig out of a 360 lace frontal with bundles. Um, and the first time I did it, it didn't work out very well um, because Again, the lace frontal, the 360 lace frontal was a little bit too loose, so it just made a mess trying to fit it onto the dome cap and fit the bundles in there and have it be seamless. This time, because I did customize the lace frontal to fit me a little bit better, um, it worked out tremendously. This honestly is the tightest wig I've ever had where honestly I didn't need elastic band. The only thing I needed the elastic band for was really to um, make the lace in the front fit on my head really tight as if it was glued down but yeah this is the hair I'm super pleased with the way I made the wig I don't think I would make any changes um, moving forward of course there's always room for changes or growth so if you have any, any more suggestions on how to perfect the 360 lace frontal wig and making it myself feel free to let me know but like I said I am really pleased with the way I made that wig but in that video, um, I was showing you this hair, but I didn't really give you guys a review of the hair. And I actually happened to like the hair, so I thought I would come back and actually review it for you guys and tell you all about it. So again, this hair does come from Labby Human Hair. This is the bag that the hair came in, and I really, really like it. This is one of those bags that like if you're traveling and you don't have like toiletry cases and things like that, you can kind of reuse this bag and kind of throw some of your stuff in there. Um, you can use it to, like for your underwear, your bathing suits or whatever into your suitcase and kind of keep things separated or some of your makeup or whatever the case may be. Or you can just use it for your bundles and to store your wigs. So what I have in my hair is their superior grade Peruvian body wave hair. Um, I did go ahead and straighten it out and add some curls to it. I actually filmed this video Monday and when I went Wednesday to edit and upload the video, the file was completely gone. So that's pretty much when I did these curls and styling. I did a whole video for you guys and somehow it, it disappeared into space. So I am refilming this for you guys and I kind of just touched them up a little bit. But this hair does hold a curl pretty well because I didn't have to do too much. As far as the lengths of this hair, I did request three bundles, an 18, 20, and a 22. And then the 360 lace frontal is a 16 inch 360 lace frontal. So that's what I have in the hair. Um, I used most of the bundles. I have a little bit of one left and actually I can show it to you guys. Also, they did give me a coupon code for you guys for money off. Um, I can't remember what it is exactly and I don't want to mess up in this video. So make sure that you check out the description bar for, for that. But it is super pretty and it did have some nice waves to it. I just decided, um, you know, after the wig was made that I wanted to do a little bit of a press and curl style and I really do like it but yeah I had no real complaints about the hair um, if you did watch the tutorial then you see that I sewed down the 360 lace front so and then I hot glue gun the um, what do you call it the bundles you will also notice that I did cut the tracks I pretty much always cut the tracks when it comes to making my wigs it just makes it much flatter and easier for me um, as a whole so because I do that, um, when you first finish the wig, you will get a little bit more shedding than normal or more shedding um, than if you don't cut your webs. That is just one of those things that you can't prevent. Because, and it's pretty much standard, not too much tangling or shedding. Because the 360 lace frontal is kind of one of those things that's meant to go into a ponytail or bun, 
that's why I did choose to make the hair look a little bit more natural and um, I won't say thin but I guess natural looking where I may have been able to um, make it thicker I chose not to because if you want to put this um, wig into like a ponytail or a bun you honestly don't want to have it super thick because it's going to be hard to make a nice sleek ponytail when it's like super thick in the center if that makes any sense I probably would never actually make a wig with 360 lace from the closure and put like four or five bundles in between just because when you go to grip it into a ponytail you'll have like a whole huge heap of hair and it will be too too much basically this will help it to look a little bit more natural um, something that I do find with the 360 lace frontal is that if you do want to wear it up your braids must be as flat and natural as possible if you do like plaits or french braids or any of that other stuff that I usually do it doesn't work as far as keeping it flat but I will show you with what it looks like up so one thing that I do notice about the 360 lace frontal as pretty much with any type of wig um, if you do want to put it up into a ponytail especially a higher ponytail um, you pretty much it's pretty much mandatory that you have your hair braided up really finely like into a beehive or uh, some straight backs that are super duper duper flat because if you don't, it's not going to be the seamless um, application, I guess you said, that you're going for. In my case, my hair is French braided in six plaits going like this. And then I just have them pinned up. Um, they're not flat. But still, I'll show you what it looks like from the back. Again, be better than me and make sure that your braids are super flat. That way, um, this is going to look so, so bomb if you go ahead and do so. I am debating if I want to get my hair braided professionally because I don't know how to do a beehive or super duper flat um, braids under my wigs myself. I just do what I can, but I'm thinking about getting someone to braid my hair really flat. And wearing this wig during my labor and delivery, I don't know yet, but it would be nice to go ahead and throw it up in the top bun, especially because it's so tight. I know it's not going to slide or move while I'm pushing, um, but I just have to go ahead and get the hair or my hair braided if I want that to work. But as you can see, it looks super cute. Scarves and headbands are super on trend lately, so of course whenever you wear a ponytail, um, either high or low or a bun, um, it's really cute to go ahead and add a little headband and that makes it really cute some people even wear them like around their hairline and I think it's super cute just different ways that you can jazz it up especially like I said when your braids are not the flattest when I go into labor, I'll probably look like something like this or maybe two French braids. Just because laying in that bed, I'm probably going to want the hair out of the way. Um, and I'm not going to want to deal with the edges or, you know, the lace or the, you know, and all that. You know, like the lace, I'm not really going to want to deal with the hair moving or sliding. But like I said with this wig, if I were to wear this one, it would be perfect because this one doesn't move too much because I made it perfect. Um, but yeah, I don't have any complaints about this hair. I don't have much to say um, because it's actually, you know, good hair. I kind of messed up my little style with all these little ponytails and buns, but I did want to do my best to show you guys what it was. Again, this is Peruvian Body Wave. The lengths I have in our 18 20 22 with a 16 inch 360 lace frontal. All of the information is listed down below as well as links to Lavi Human Hair's website. Also, don't forget that there is a coupon code in the description bar for you guys to receive money off. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. Don't forget to subscribe, like, and share this video with your friends. And I'll see you in the next one.